Welcome back friends. Today we are going to talk about how you can freeze one column or one row because sometimes you want to showcase only your data and you want your headers to be sticked. Okay, it could be in the columns, it could be in the rows. So we are going to talk about that. So before I start, I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on below bell icon to get the notifications. Now let's understand this. So here if you see my data, okay, on the top you can see I have these headers in the row. Am I right? If I scroll my data down, then I will not be able to look at my headers. So in that case, I will not be able to relate my cell value that what it is denoting. In that case, I may get confused. So what we need to do, we need to freeze zero so that we can keep seeing our headers while scrolling your data down or right. Okay. So now let's understand that. If you want to freeze your first row, in that case, what you can do, you can just go to this view option. And from there, you click on this freeze pane and here you can see freeze top row. Okay. Once you do that, you'll be seeing this dark black line in the entire column. Can you see this? Okay. So it means that the, your top row is fixed. Okay. And when you start scrolling down your data, you will be seeing that your header is sticked on the top and it is not moving. All right. So that is how you can freeze your top row. If you want to unfreeze your panes, what you need to do, you can click on this unfreeze panes so that it will be free. Now your headers will start moving again. Okay. So that's how you can unfreeze your row. Now we are going to talk about how you can freeze your column. So you can just see freeze first column. Okay. You can see again the first line. So now your column is fixed. If you go right, you can see that my column is not moving here and there. Okay. I, it is just hiding behind the A column. If I go left, then I can see all my data here. So that is how you can use freeze pane for freezing the first row and the first column. Now what we are going to do, we are going to unfreeze this again. And now we are going to talk about that. Suppose if you want to freeze any other row, not your first row, not your first column. In that case, how you can do that? Let me insert some rows here. Okay. On the top, I may show some kind of calculations. In that case, I want my this row to be fixed, this header row. Okay. So in that case, we cannot use freeze top row. So what we need to do, we need to like select uh, the second row from the header. Okay. And we need to click on freeze pane again and we need to click on freeze panes. Once we do that, we'll be seeing this option again. And now again, my headers will be sticked. So all the above row from the selected row will be freezed. Okay. We selected this eighth row. So eight minus one, all seven rows will get fixed. Okay. So that is how you can freeze your multiple rows. Now what we can do, we are going to talk about how you can freeze your multiple column. Same method. You need to select the column and all the previous column will get freezed. Okay. You just go here, click on freeze pane and you can see it is freezed. Okay. If you go right, you can see all three columns are fixed. So that is how you can freeze your multiple columns. Now let me unfreeze this. Suppose if you want to freeze your row as well as column at the same time. So in that case, what do you need to do? You need to select the intersected cell. Okay. So in that case, I want my three columns to be fixed and all my seven rows to be fixed. So what I'll be doing, I'll be selecting the intersected cell that is this. Okay. And if I click on this freeze pane, I click on this freeze pane, you can see it is showing me two lines. One is this black line in the column and second is in the row. Now if I go right, you can see my column is fixed. But if I go down, you can see my headers are also fixed. So that is how you can freeze your rows and column at the same time. Okay. So you need to select the next available intersected point to freeze the multiple rows and columns at the same time. So that is how you can use freeze pane. Now let me remove this freeze pane. Now I'm going to talk about how you can mirror your columns while scrolling in the right side. So what do I mean that? You can just see this video and then you will be able to understand what do I mean. So suppose if I want my ABC columns to be fixed, okay, and I want it to mirror on the right side. So why I can do that, I just need to click on a split. And once I click on a split, if I go right, it is just, you can see my first three columns are fixed. But if I go right, you can see, I can see ABC columns twice, okay. So that is how you can use split feature. It works in the, with the similar method that how you are using freeze pane. Suppose if I remove this split and I want my rows and columns both to be mirrored. In that case, what I can do, I can just select one intersected point and I can click on this split. And once I do that, if I go top, you can see all my multiple columns are mirroring from the top. Okay. 
same what I can do if I go down, I can see my headers are fixed. Okay, if I go left, then you can see ABC columns are also mirroring this column. So that is how you can split your rows and columns and can mirror your data. Hope you like this video. Please give a thumbs up and do not forget to share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Soon we will be coming with lots of amazing Excel features. Let's keep learning. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.